Hey everybody, I gotta fix me. It's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, how are you? Happy Wednesday. I'm gonna do a couple little guys for you today. I'm trying to make shorter videos and still get in a story or two. We'll see how that goes. Um, let me show you the results from the last video where we did three different techniques on some clocks. Um, one of the clocks is sold, so yay. So um, I went ahead and put the hardware on it because it, it, it's just, just for uh, demonstration purposes because it needs to uh, cure for a couple weeks before I resin it. But that's what it looks like with the, with the hardware. I still have the tape on the back for the resin and this will all come off. And that's where you hang it. The, you get these, um, these are called either modern handmade or handmade modern, I can't remember. But you get them at Target. That they, they sell the clock kits and their little one aisle craft section um, and they're like seven bucks and they come with all the hardware like they're ready to go you just do your pour and it comes with the hands and, and quartz movement blah 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 but there's the first one very pretty um, the second one I think is my favorite um, is this guy here with the infinity pour that's going to be very fun too. I'm not sure about the hands. So my my little hole, um, I just put a little round piece of um, painter's tape and then I use my X-Acto knife and I just carve it out and pop out the tape. And that's uh, that's how I get around the, um, the hole in the middle. And then the wrecked um, tree ring pour, this guy is crazy. My husband wants it. I said, we'll have to discuss, cause uh, I kind of want to sell it. And he's like, ooh, I want it for my office. I'm like, mm, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, um, last video also, I showed you some examples um, of things I was working on since I hadn't been filming. And those were the Shelly Art Blooms, cause I did take her course. Um, this is another finished one. I hope I'm not showing the same one. This one I let the sides bare and it's been resined already. And a couple people wrote to me and said, what if you don't wanna do blooms? And I said, you don't really have to. You can use it, the, her pouring medium recipe um, for other things. So um, I'm not gonna get into the whole discussion of whether or not it should be shared if you paid for it, or it should be free and all that. You guys make up your own mind. Um, uh, I'm just here to show you today what you can do if you don't want to just do blooms. Like maybe you're hesitating, like, why well, do I want to take a course? Because I don't want to do blooms. I want to do other things, which is kind of how I felt. Like, don't get me wrong. I love me some blooms and oh my gosh, right? But um, I also was mostly interested in not necessarily the technique because the technique is separate from the pouring medium. I was interested in what can I do with the pouring medium recipe. So um, if you're still on the fence about taking that class or maybe you just want to do blooms and if you want to do blooms and get started right away, I highly recommend you go to Jen Neal's um, YouTube channel. She has been working on blooms for a long, long time now and she has several tutorials on how to do them um, separate from Shelly. And her channel is J-E-N-N-N-E-I-L, Jen Neal. So go check out Jen um, for tutorials on how to do these. Um, but I'm not gonna do these today. I'm gonna just play with the pouring medium um, and see what else we can do with it. And then maybe um, if you're interested, you can take her course or not, or wait for it to come out for free or not. All personal decisions and there's a million opinions on it and as far as I'm concerned there's no right or wrong answer so with all that said um, yeah let me get you down <clears throat> so I just have some little guys today I haven't gone big yet I plan to and I will film that when I do uh, I need my coffee mmm I have coffee and chocolate today instead of tea um, colors I'm going to be using today, um, and you can use tube paints. I've just been on a kick of using 
the golden high flow um, stuff because I'm determined to conquer it. <laughs> like, I'm going to conquer you um, because I find them much more difficult to work with um, because they're so runny um, compared to two paints. Now, my, um, I didn't have any um, titanium white in the golden uh, high flow. I only had it in tube. So my white is, what do I have here? Like Plaza Studio Acrylics Titanium White. Uh, the rest of it is the golden um, fluid, not high flow. The high flow is the stuff with the pointy and it's more inky. I'm not using this today. I'm using the golden fluid. This is Cornacridone Violet, very pretty. I have um, Permanent Violet Dark. I have, can you see it? Yeah, sort of, kind of. I have some, oh, this one is the High Flow. This is Golden's High Flow with the pointy, pointy cap. Um, Phalo Turquoise. That's this shade right here. And basically, you just pour in a little pouring medium. And with this stuff, you just add like, a couple squirts of the color and, and give it a mix and that's it and then finally I have some golden fluid acrylics and iridescent bright gold fine so that's this color here and I kind of wanted to know well, what happens if you use the pouring medium and something other than a bloom what do you get oh and then I have my titanium white which is right here in a big old cup. Um, I figured I would do, let's just do like a flip cup and like, what if you just pour it? What if you flip cup it? What if you do a swipe? What happens? There's no silicone involved. There's no torching involved. So um, you don't need either for this. You just kind of pour and go. Um, I'm realizing I might have not made enough colors. We'll see. So what I think I'll do is, let's just do, I can't decide what to do first. Let's just do a flip cup. And I'm layering, figuring out the order of my colors here. Something like that. Um, and see what happens. So I'm gonna put down a little bit of white on my canvas because I don't have a lot of paint because I'm a goober and I'm looking at it like you have three canvases I don't know if you're gonna have enough so we're gonna put down some white maybe take a stick and spread this around a little bit doesn't have to be perfect For those of you who wanted to know the end of my story of, um, you know, my thank you story with, with I love you with my husband, there really, there wasn't any, like, we obviously, we got back together and we dated for like, I made him wait. Um, he proposed like a year later in London. He, he, we went to London because that's where he had made that big speech to me. Um, when we first started dating and we we got engaged in London and but we didn't get married I think it was almost four years we dated almost four years before we got married made him wait it out so yeah all right let me put this somewhere safe And let's layer, I don't know, do traditional layer. Let's get rid of my stick. Mixing up the white. So I'm do some white. Let's do some, maybe nothing will happen. And I'll just have a bunch of pretty colors. All right, I'll do some. What is that again? The Cornacridone Violet, so pretty. I've been on a real turquoise kick too. And turquoise. 
Ooh, the gold. Oh gosh, is that pretty? And then the, the permanent violet dark, AKA purple. This are pretty. I could have just layered it. I'm just in the interest of time because I'm my YouTube analytics keeps telling me your videos are too long. I'm like, I can't help it. I like to talk. Um, so this is almost like not quite a sandwich pour, just because I have white at the bottom and the top. All right, so let's let's flip cup this one. Right, just a regular old layered flip cup and Geronimo. And get some gloves. And I don't think I've announced it on my channel yet, but I am going to be at the paint, which is um, an acronym for Pouring Artists International, <clears throat> excuse me, Expo, AA, AKA Conference in Seattle, Washington, um, in the first week of April, 2020, where I'll be teaching three classes. So I'm very excited about that. Go to my Facebook page um, for the link to the website. If you're in the area, come take a class. And it's not just pouring. It's it's um, There's going to be resin artists there, pouring artists, alcohol ink artists. Basically, um, anything that is fluid, there will be um, instructors there. So a wide variety of classes. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Super excited. All right, I guess I'm just gonna kind of lift up. There goes nothing. Make my little lip. Whoa. Probably added too much white. Let that settle. Look at all the lacing. That's cool. That is cool. Can you guys see that? Let me come up close so you can see the puddle. It seems like it's still spreading, so I'm gonna let it spread. Yeah, it's pouring off the sides. I probably didn't need the white down. I was just worried about not having enough paint mixed. All right, I think it's done. Are you done? Are you still pouring off the side? All right, enough of that side. Let's go over this side. Give it a tilt. And I feel like I want to torch because I have bubbles right there. Maybe just torch. You really shouldn't need a torch. Ah, they were white. Yuck. I wonder if I can stick my finger in it. And get the white to go away. Or made it worse. That's cool though, right? I kind of lost my um, my red shades though. Let me see uh, if we give this a tilt, what we get. Let me go off that side. It's kind of plain. I feel like it's plain. Because now I'm losing all my lacing. I'm getting some cells to pop up. Oh, where I stuck my finger in it. Let me get rid of those. The, that. Oh, but I kind of like it though. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> like with every passing second. Let me stare at this. It's like some weird uh, purpley wave. I like my white corner. Do I like my white corner? I don't know if I like my... Um, different color cells are popping up. Uh, this is really cool right here. Or do I want the whole thing to be insane? 
Give me a second while I just stare at it and ponder. Or do I take that down? I guess I take it down a little bit. Oh, see, I don't wanna lose that cool little, uh, those two little turquoise cells. They're just too cute. Oh, I'm gonna lose them. What are you gonna do? Let me come back up here. Can I swing something back or did I lose them? I think I lost them. Now my uh, composition's getting all wonky, so let me fix it. Or try to fix it. Yeah, probably should have left it alone. It's still kind of cool though. The the I, I feel like I lost a lot of the lacing. Like it looked really cool coming out of the cup, but it's now sort of disappeared. This is an interesting piece. I'm gonna say. Hmm. I don't know what to make of this one. I really don't. So I'm just gonna set it to the side. Let me give you the right orientation. And, and come back come back at it in a couple minutes with fresh eyes because I'm like eh, I don't know if I like this or not uh, and then we'll then we'll see so that's like the orientation what it looks like and like you can see the lacing and like all the cool different colored cells like they're those are really cool I gotta say um, so there's one and We'll give him a home just right up here. And let's do number two. I think I had too much white in that one too. So I'm not gonna do all that white for the next one. So the next one is just a little eight inch round. You guys see that? And let's what do you want to do? So that was a layered flip cup. Let's just do a pour. I need some fresh gloves. And I need a piece of chocolate for luck. And today's chocolate dove, which, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'll eat whatever's in the house, but. It says, if you are reading this, you are beautiful and worth it. From Alicia C. in Texas. Thanks, Alicia. Ah, all right. So let's do a pour. Get a clean cup. I'm still staring at that other one. And I'm just going to layer. Do the same thing, layer colors in the cup, and they're, we're just gonna pour. So let's go blue first, or turquoise. My gold. And then the purple. And because I love turquoise, a little more turquoise. And then the uh, the magenta color. And then a spot of white. All right. All right, this is, we're just gonna pour it on, see what happens, ready? You know, I gotta make my design. All right, plenty of paint, probably a little too much paint. Let that settle a second. I 
got some more bubbles. I don't want to torch it. That didn't work out too well in that last one. Can I get rid of some? I think that killed off a couple. Oh, there's two more. turquoise I got turquoise all right let's tilt this around so this is just the regular pour who I like those cells there I don't want to lose those let me let me come off this end oh I lost all my gold where's my gold Oh, here it comes. Look at that. I have too much paint on here. Let me swing it back. Take some off this end, too. There we go. And then swing it back. Oh, that's cool. I wish I had some, um, looks like I'm just getting white cells in that turquoise area, but that's pretty, pretty neat. That one there. It did, didn't sew up as much as the, um, the flip cup one did, which is surprising because it's more, uh, volatile to, you know, just pour it out of a cup. Let me take some more off. I'm just seeing if there's paint, you know, hidden underneath everything. But maybe not. Maybe that's it. I didn't think, think the paint is like, listen, lady, don't be greedy. So let me flip this around. I'm getting some little baby cells popping up. The colors are gorgeous, though. And it's like I got a little chain link fence in the middle of it. That's pretty cool. So there's number two. Oh, there, I can straighten it. Oh no, I'll lose my lacing if I go that way. I don't wanna lose my lacing at the very tip top. I'm gonna to leave it like there. I can tell you I'm gonna scrape that first guy. This one, that, this one's a keeper. That's really cool. I love the uh, composition of this guy. So let me put him Someday I will have a studio. Someday I will have a studio. Let me put this over here. Safe and sound. That's a keeper. That one's definitely a keeper. This first guy, though, I'm not liking it. Let me bring this guy back. Oh, let me make sure this guy's level. Okay, he looks good. This one here, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just not feeling it. So, how much paint do I have? I have a little bit of paint left. All right, I'm gonna scrape this one. Yeah, it's not my, it's not my cuppa, for sure. Uh, a big old stick. Let's see what was under there. Oh gosh, now it's all like pastelli. That's pretty. I kind of don't want to waste that paint, right? I'm going to leave that puddle there and we'll just, you know, do what I normally do and just pour over the puddle. So let's try that. Just gonna do. I want one with gold. Let's add. Let's add gold. Let's do the gold with the purple. Just a 
a little bit of turquoise. And I think I still have just enough paint for one more. Mm. All right, that should do it. So let's Geronimo this and this mess like that. And then I kind of want to do a swipe on my last one. I have a little six by six. So after this one, we'll try to do a swipe and uh, see how the pouring medium reacts to a swipe. That should be fun. All right, here we go, take two. Hmm. No cells that time. Or kinda. Let's swirl it all around and see what we get. Where'd my gold go again? Oh, I got some uh, cells going on in this one at corner. Let me see if I can bring those back up. And then bring it over to this other corner. Hopefully you guys can see. Wait, you see now? Stair step my way over to the corner. Super close, go for it, off you go. And then bring it all, let's bring that all back. Now it's just a matter, of, we got coverage, now it's just a matter of playing with the composition. Try to get some balance and a cool pattern going. I'm gonna bring this over this way a little. Stretch, stretch. Yeah, I don't want it to go off, so let me bring it back. This is more me, yeah. This is much more abstract, I'm loving this. I'm gonna go off this one corner up here a little bit, just a little, not a lot. Kinda like that, and bring it down. <gasps> See, that's more my, well, that's, this is just more my aesthetic. You guys, I don't know if you'll like it or not, but definitely more, more me. I love that. That's super, super cool. Um, I'm going to let it sit, see if anything pops up, any kind of bubbles or anything. Uh, gosh, love that though. All right. And that just leaves us with, um, a swipe. So let me move him. Let me hold it this way so you guys can see it a second. Um, I've got some gold cells popping up, but there's that one there. Super cosmic, very abstract, which I love. So that just shows that you can do more with her pouring medium other than plumes. So, yeah, that's cool. The other one is still looking great. It's got some more cells, um, gold cells have popped up and that's really pretty too. So one more, I'm missing a corner right here. My, um, these are my usual uh, ampersand panels and I have uh, most of it taped with just the lip. Let me show, in case I didn't show you that part. So. 
except for the round, the two squares are, you know, so I only have to worry about the lip portion. So let me do, this is probably gonna kill off all my paint. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough paint for this. Huh. Yep. I might not have enough paint. I am not crap. I don't, I don't have enough paint. I can swipe what I have, I guess. Right? <laughs> I guess that's what I could do. Uh, just to see. We'll do a half of one, sorry about that guys. And there's my white that we'll just use to, to swipe with. But yeah, I, I out of colors and I have to go and mix and Blah, blah, blah. So, um, let me get a paper towel. Damp on the end, squeeze out the water, straighten it all out, make sure it's as wide as my canvas. And what do I do? Just make the top part negative? I probably should go that way. Oh, well, we just want to see. This is just for experiment purposes to see what happens if you swipe. Let me get this down all nice. I do have the luxury of playing with it on the canvas before I get to the white paint. So there we go. And let's just see what happens if you uh, swipe. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, it could be user error, but that didn't work. <laughs> Total fail. Let me... um throw gloves on and um, try to swish it around. <laughs> That's a total fail right there. I got some speckles. I mean, I can try to torch it. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. That's hilarious. <laughs> and now I got all these colors underneath. Let me see if I stretch it out if anything comes up, but I think I'll just dump uh, my remaining paint on the top of this. <laughs> uh, I like the two I have so far, so two out of three isn't bad, I guess. And yeah, that did not work at all. Not at all. All right, lesson learned there. Or you'd have to tweak with the recipe or something um, to get something to happen, right? So there's a little bit of paint. I'm just gonna take whatever's left. I have a tiny bit of white left. A tiny bit of turquoise. Dig it out of my cup. Here goes the turquoise. Here's the end of the magenta. Purple's gone. A little bit of purple. And I killed off the gold already. Well. Just smear it all around and see what happens. I 
I'm just playing, y'all. Seriously. Just making things move around. Alright. Just trying to put in some sort of pattern or some sort of composition. Something. Need something. Alright. Maybe we could salvage a painting out of this. Get rid of all that leftover. And bring it on down this way. Let a lot of it fall off. Oh, can you see me? Yeah, okay. Flip around. It's, it's almost like there's a delayed reaction um, for the cells. Like it doesn't really sell up um, until you start moving the paint around. And then it like kind of wakes up like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to do something here. Hold on, I'm coming. And then it wakes up. Ooh, I don't like that thingy there. Hold on, let me futz. Off you go, all the way over. And off. Yeah, gold. You can't just show up at the end and be like, here I am. Mm, I get like, you guys know how I feel about the wiggles at the end of the canvas. Like, I don't like that when it bends all crazy. So that's what I'm trying to fix. This is actually super pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think I love that one the most. Check it out. It was like, um, from moving it all around, all the colors came up. I think is pretty much what happened there. That is really pretty. Ta-da! I like love that. Good, so didn't waste too much paint. I'm done. Um, let me look at the other three. I'll get the camera down so you guys can see what I got going on. Make some room here so I don't knock things over. I have like a whole stack of the golden, my coffee, and then I can pop the camera down so you guys can take a look. So there's the last guy. Really, let me come in close on those cells. Super, super pretty, right? On that side and then over here. And I'll try to hold it still. And then that's what it looks like. I'll take good pictures. So that's the third one. That's the six by six. Here's the eight by eight. See the little gold cells that popped up? I like that part right there. I like that a lot. And then you got your little stripey area and then your cells up at this end. And then kind of up high. And there's the first one, the round, with the little uh, chain link fence in the middle of it. I like that too. Yay! So yeah, really great results with Shelly's um, pouring medium. Uh, feel free to check out her class. I'll put a link in the description. Also, Jen Neal has been doing fantastic work um, on her version of Blooms. Check her out. Uh, happy painting, happy pouring. Uh, thanks for all the love and support uh, as of late. It's super appreciated. Um, and yeah, I'll see, how long? Oh, see, 20 minutes. <laughs> it's never going to happen. YouTube analytics, it's uh, 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in a few days. Have a great week. Bye-bye.